Now, this time, business A-lifters gather for an evening to mark the 10th anniversary of pension administration in Nigeria. Industry captains and other members of Nigerian business community gathered together in Victoria Island, Lagos for an evening to mark the 10th anniversary of pension administration in Nigeria. Dropping the meetings and calls and computers for cutleries and glasses, the businessmen and public administrators while exchanging pleasant banters reminiscent to how it all started. It's been a decade of driving a reform process that can only get better if continuously guided by the rules. We had nothing when we started. In fact, we had a deficit. And uh, the pension story was very dismal and one of despair. But 10 years down the line, we've managed to sort of stem the growth of the liabilities, introduce a completely different uh, uh, system of uh, pensions, and as well, create at least uh, three new financial industries plus a regulator that did not exist and there has been also a steady growth of the pension fund asset so it's fulfillment for the personalities in attendance the pension reform act endorses a process that cleaned up liabilities before the reforms in the excess of one trillion naira in a place where over six million workers have signed up not only having the pension money, it's also trying to make sure what do we do with the money to make sure that we expand, especially the uh, revenue base of the country, where you know the money should be used, uh, you know, as a tool to invest in various sectors of the economy so that it can add value. We have enjoyed a very formidable system where each and every one of us working in public or private sector can contribute which is employers in, the employers and the employees will contribute certain sum on a regular basis and properly invested that will guarantee him a lot maintenance and sustenance of a good lifestyle after his retirement this is a very formidable thing this is a practice internationally celebration of hard won battles and paying retirement benefits and to beef up for the future of pension reform, there is much more for Nigerians to celebrate. And this time it's double celebration as the children and relatives of late Chief Stephen Babalayoruchu Aruwajui come together to remember 30 years after the passing of the Patriot and the confinement of Chief Tainti title on Obeni Oja Akiboro Aruwajui and his wife Yalude Aruwajui as the Yalude of Igoruko Owo. The Methodist Church in the ancient town of Owo in this state witnessed a double Thanksgiving service as the children and relatives of late Chief Stephen Babalu Eriju gathered to remember 30 years after the passing on of their patriarch. The service was also a thanksgiving for 
the conferment of Chief Tisi titles on Chief Akin Boro Ariwajuri as the Ogbeni Oja of Boro and his wife, Chief Mrs. Stella Olayinka Ariwajuri as the Yalodi of Iberoku Oro. Sermon, the Methodist Bishop of our diocese, Right Reverend Ade Adebute, reiterated that no one will live forever. It's important to pay into thought and say, come back to you or go back to the Lord. Also, we will be like that. Only Christ has zero repair. The late Chief Stephen Arua Joy was a frontline of a traditional chief and a member of the pre-independence constituent assembly. He died in 1984 at the age of 71. Chiefs dressed in their traditional attires entertained guests after the Thanksgiving service at a reception held at the Ariwajuri Civic Center in Oro Town. I used to believe that I was special to my father. I don't want to use the word "disabled," but one day I was talking with one of my sisters. And I tried to pull out, I said, eh, I had a special relationship with him. She told me immediately, no, you can't be like mine. I am his sovereign. And I tested this with two, three, four, five, six. Each one of us feels that we are the sovereign. Then there's something about somebody can maintain that kind of relationship. It has been the pleasure of the king to honor the family of Yahweh Ajoya and to hold on me too. I feel pleased and I feel honored and I give glory to God. If you ask an average man on the street or even everybody on the street, my father means something to all my celebrants. The celebrants and their guests dance to music supplied by Juju music legend Ebenezer Obi Fadi. <laughs> And this is where we wrap it up for this week. Remember, if you want to watch this or any edition of Metrofile, just go to our website, www.channelstv.com. Thank you so much for watching. I am Anne Nawadu.